Well, howdy guys and gals, it's me, George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man, and I have a quickie update for you, and a hold on to your hats, it finally arrived, the new steering box for the Goofy Cart. So we're going to be tearing all of this apart and redoing the whole nine yards and replacing it with this. This is going back to our original setup more or less this is a uh, an auger drive for a snowblower this one however is a brand new one not a used and abused one so we're going to hope that this one will do the project and do the job and uh, so hold on to your hats and i'll be bringing you back as we modify and modify again and remodify and I believe all things being equal that my steering arm here the pitman arm will be going back down and going down underneath so it's not up in here and it's not getting interfering with our feet anymore so hold on to your hats that's where we're going next bye for now Well, hi guys and gals, it's me, George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man, and I've been working on my steering, and uh, let me put the steering wheel on here. This is just temporary, so I have to uh, adjust, I have to make a new hole for the steering wheel. It's got to be, I had it down and bolted on here for spacer uh, for tightener but uh, that's too far down and I had my um, mounting piece for the quick dis disconnect I had it mounted down into this hole down here which is smaller and my um, bolt here would actually fit into snugly that's not going to work because it's too short. So, that's uh, a moot point at the moment. This is a brand spanking new, let me get my steering wheel on here. This is a brand new steering, uh, steering box. Well, it is a steering box for me. It's a brand new snowblower auger. And the original steering box that I had on here was a snowblower auger off of an old one that had been used and abused and it was pretty rusty and yeah so I thought the reason that it was sloppy was because it was old and used this is a brand spanking new one and I want you to watch this that is all play let me back up you can see my front wheel is not turning all of that way and all that way it's almost uh, it's, om it's almost a quarter of a turn which is just as bad as that last steering box that I had on <sighs> telling you what this steering it's kicking me but it ain't going to get me down. I've got this set up now so that it will work this way. Um, I eliminated one of the problems I had with the electric steering box where I had to have this bar pointing up and uh, as a result my tie rod was coming out and around the outside of the exhaust and all that good stuff. This is back where it was originally 
because with this having a shaft coming out on either side all I had to do is flip the box to get it to rotate the way I wanted so I uh, you saw me turning this piece here it was a piece of tubing that I picked up at uh, tractor supply the inside diameter was perfect I was going to use this piece of tube here was almost the same but uh, this was from a handle off of a an old um, rototiller almost but it needed to be turned down quite a bit on the outside which I did and I got it to work but I couldn't get it to slide inside and I had no way of grinding the inside out enough to make it go all the way so I went to tractor supply found this tube that was just the right size inside diameter to slide over diameter diameter my Massachusetts accent jumps out of me every once in a while anyway it was the perfect size to slide over the shaft coming out of the steering box and I did have to turn down the outside diameter just a little bit and uh, you saw me doing it using my grinder um, and that was the quickest and easiest way to do it because I was only taking off uh, a thousandth of an inch and with a long piece like this I couldn't get it chucked up to get a perfectly true run in my lathe so by using the uh, angle grinder with a flap disc on it I was able to turn it just enough to get it to slide in and out and I did that on both sides did the piece for over there as well so now I'm not giving up on the steering box I have it took me almost three weeks to get this steering box. They got lost in a black hole down in Georgia where it was shipped from. And I was afraid that when it finally started to move, that it might get lost in the black hole that we have here in Tennessee, which is Memphis. But it made it right through there. And once it got moving again, I got it in a couple of days. I'm going to take this steering box apart and I'm going to try and modify the gears in it. I'm sure it has a worm gear in it. I'm going to try welding on the worm gear or depends on which gear is easier to work on. It, I think it's a worm and sector. Uh, if the sector is simpler to work on, I will try building up the teeth on that to get rid of the, the slop and I, that would be the simpler one to do because that's a straight cut gear. So we're going to be taking this thing apart and I'll bring you along when I do that. I have nothing to lose. I have $80 just in the steering box and I have another eighteen nineteen dollars in the tubing not to mention my time which doesn't amount to much as far as I don't get paid but uh, yeah so obviously with this slop in the steering like that we're not going to be doing any road testing with it like that. I was hoping. I was hoping. One other thing I could show you. Uh, I said I was going to make some modifications to my drive chain over here. And I did. What I have ended up doing is eliminating the sprocket I had down here. Because this chain seems to wobble. And I know part of the problem is... Now let me show you. I'm going to turn this wheel by hand. Oh, I can't because it's back down on the ground again. Because uh, I jacked the front end up. But this chain wobbles a little bit because my sprocket back there wobbles a little bit. And that wobbles because I think my axle 
is bent a little bit and that may be all I need but it was kept kicking the chain off of the idler sprocket so I have eliminated the idler sprocket and put an idler pulley on there which has shoulders on it and so the chain can wander back and forth a little bit without any problem um, so once we get our steering taken care of sorry for the shaky can that's my shaky hands doing it uh, once I get my steering straightened out we'll be taking it for a road test and uh, Lord willing uh, our church is involved in an outreach in our hometown uh, for the church in Decaturville Tennessee and that same day at Decaturville days they're also having a car show so my hope is I'm going to be there for the church set up and I hope to get the goofy cart down there for that too so even if it throws a chain I can still push it off the trailer if I have to you know what I'm saying well, we gotta get the steering straight now first that that's just not acceptable so until next time this is George and it's a good thing oh it's a good thing we don't have to depend on our abilities and on the productivity of pieces of equipment for our salvation. There's only one way, and Jesus said it best, I am the way and the truth and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. He is the man of salvation. Thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing, thumbs up, sharing, all them good things. Till next time, this is George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man, and we're still working on the Goofy Cart. Still. Bye for now.